Hello everybody, this is Sharon. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a couple projects that I was inspired by Sparkly Canadian Crafty Girl on YouTube. And she has a video on um, a tutorial on how to make these. But she did have a die um, that she was using. So I was going to share with you guys how I made mine. And I do not have a die. So um, I just thought if you wanted to make um, some of these, I thought they were so cute. And um, the ones that she had were for, um, the, actually they were made for a wine bottle. Like you could put a wine bottle through here. And then you could lay this tag on here. And you could, um, you know, write a little sentiment on the back. And you could just put to and from or whatever you want to put on the back of them. But, the, um, like I said, hers was with, made with a die, so they were the exact same. You, the way I do it on this one, um, you can use it for different sizes. And I just thought they were so cute. Um, I'm going to show you what I was going to use mine for. Um, we have like a $5 uh, Santa at Christmas time, and I thought I could use it for some um, soap. So, let me share with you first what they look like. So, this is the first one. And I do have a tutorial on this one right here. So if you guys are interested in watching how I made this one, um, just stay tuned. I did a process video on that. But um, let me show you with you this one first. It's a little bit smaller than this one as far as the length. And you can just cut these off to any length. You can make them any width that you need them to be. And the way I did it, it's just according to my stamp and how much room I wanted to have. is how wide I did it and how long I did it. But anyway, I just did some Merry Christmas down here with some um, embossing, embossing powder. And I used like the one with the sparkle in it. I hope you can see that. It's really pretty and uh, shimmery. And then the stamp that I have on here was from uh, Gerder Steiner Designs, I think. And I just stamped that, colored it in with my Copet markers. I added some... Uh, stickles on there in different places. I hope you can see that. It's really pretty. And then this is a bow from my stash. It's called the Bride's Bow from Magnolia Doohickey Dies. And I love that bow die. I have a few bow dies, maybe five or six, but this is always my, the one that I really enjoy using. I always go back to this one, um, but I think it I don't think they're making it anymore, and it is very, very hard to find. I've tried to help a couple people find it, and we never did find it. We looked on eBay and everywhere, never did find it. But um, I do love that bow. But anyway, um, these are some um, sequins that I just did, like green, blue, and, and red. And they are really pretty and sparkly, too. And like I said, on the back, I just left them blank. But you can put whatever you want to put on the back. And I just have a little Santa Claus dispenser. Um, it's a soap dispenser. And I picked it up last year at Michael's. It was $3.99 last year. And like I said, we have a $5 gift. And this is one that I just used for me. But I want to see if they have some more of these. And I just thought it would be cute to slip down in a bag. Just put this over the top. And just let it kind of hang down and you know it will kind of look like this right here and you could put it on the back if you want it to be on the back you could put it sideways or you know ever how you wanted to put it you could also make this circle smaller so if you knew what you were going to use when you made this you can make a, a smaller circle that would just fit and it wouldn't you know kind of fall down like that's doing but I wanted to go ahead and use a bigger one in case they didn't have any more of these. And I could find maybe some lotion and um, at different places and just put it on there. But anyway, um, that's the first one that I made. And this is the second one. Like I said, I do have a process video on this one. So if you guys are interested in how I created, mostly on the base part of it. Um, I didn't show the coloring or anything like that because I know you probably get tired of watching that. But I basically did the same thing. I embossed Merry Christmas down here at the bottom. I did some glossy accents on the little gloves and um, on his boots right there. I did some more sequins. Colored him in with my Copet markers. Used some more uh, stickles there. Same bow. Same little bling piece in the middle there. I think I picked these up at Walmart. And I just glued it on there. This is the Doodlebug paper collection. 
and basically the same as this one. So if you guys are interested in watching a tutorial on this one, just keep watching and it will be right after this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Okay, so these are some of the items that I use to create the little bottle holders, I guess you would call them. And um, I think this paper collection, I picked this up two or three years ago, so it's getting some age on it. And this is the Bride's Bow by Magnolia. And that's what the die looks like right there. And then these stamps, I've had them for a long time too. And I think this is just the first year that I've used them. I just haven't had a chance to play with them or anything like that. And if I'm not mistaken, I picked those up at Jamie's shop. Not too shabby is the name of her shop. And I'll leave a link to her, her shop in the description bar below, as well as um, Sparkly Canadian Crafty Girls YouTube channel. She's the one that inspired me to create these. And so I'll try to remember to leave a link to both of those in the description bar below. And these are just some circle dies. This is my little Santa Claus after I Copic colored him in. These are some of the foam dots little pick-me-up tool that I pick, used to pick up the sequins with, a pencil, and then this is the circle dies. They come in, in like I said, a 21, and I think I picked those up at Michael's, if I'm not mistaken. So first I just started off with um, some cardstock measuring 8.5 by 3. This measurements can change. Um, it just depends on how wide your stamp is, how tall it is, how much, um, you know, if you're going to put sentiments on it or not, or like I put a bow on mine if you don't put any of that you can make it shorter and like I said the width it just goes by on the stamp as well so I just took that die and just wanted to get that curve across the top and I'm just cutting that out with my scissors and this is a pretty simple little uh, project it doesn't take that long it probably took me about an hour all together to color them and um, do one of the projects so if you have a couple of hours during the day you could get two of these done pretty easily and like I said earlier we have a secret Santa that um, everybody bought us like a five dollar gift and um, and I just thought it would be so cute to buy some soaps or lotions or you know you could do really anything house um, fragrances or whatever and just hang this on it and um, like I said before, you can make this circle on the inside smaller or larger, just depending on what you need it for. If you already have the product that you're going to use it on, you can measure the, the top of that that you're going to hang it on and, and make your circle the same size. So it's really pretty easy. You just score it below that little circle up there too because you want it to kind of um, bend on your bottle or whatever you're going to use it on. And right here, I'm just making sure that everything's going to fit before I lay my cardstock down. And I don't really measure the cardstock. I just um, lay it up there and just mark it with a pencil about where I want it. It's usually about an eighth of an inch um, all the way around on all the borders there. I'm just fitting, cutting my cardstock to fit my little baller holder. Well, that's what I'm calling it, a baller holder. I'm not sure really what the name of it is. It just goes across the top of the bottle. It's not really a bottle holder, but I just thought these turned out so cute. And you could use them for any kind of occasion. It doesn't really have to be Christmas, um, could be whatever, you know, New Year's, you could actually put this on a bottle of wine if you wanted to.
and you could pop these up I didn't pop them up because it's gonna just be for um, some of the family members and my family um, none of them are crafty people so you know you could spend a lot of time doing this and they probably wouldn't even know the difference be honest with you um, unless you actually craft this is just my opinion unless you actually craft you really don't realize how much time it takes to put into a project um, you know coloring these I uh, these stamps you know they take a lot of time too and uh, so I just really didn't want to spend a lot of time because I feel like they'll probably end up in the trash can anyway so I was just kind of doing these pretty fast But I still did want them to be, you know, cute. So I did pop the little Santa Claus up and his puppy. And we do have a lot of animal lovers in our family. So I think they'll like both of these stamps. I think they're both really cute. And I just pop that clothespin up there just to hold that bow a few minutes so it would dry and um, after it got through dry and then I was going to go ahead and put these pearl bling on top there and I think I picked those up at Walmart they had a bunch of them on sale last year at Christmas time and that's where I think I purchased those I've had them a good little while too but I thought these little um, little projects turned out so cute there's so many different ways you can embellish them like you can use the sequins here you can use um, I think the sparkly Canadian crafty girl she used um, oh gosh I can't remember the name of them but she didn't use sequins but she used those and they were really cute and um, and you don't even really have to use anything if you want to if you don't want to but I just think they're really cute it adds that little sparkle to them and so I just picked out some colors that was in the paper collection and some of the colors that I used on the stamp. And that's how I came up with the blue and red. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, process video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.